Good evening Yay. i'm quite literally no picking up this vlog where i left it off and that is thursday evening we are cooking dinner while mom is actually cooking for change um we are watching the extended harry potter and philosopher's stone because it is a philosopher's stone not sorcerer's stone no one is home from school obviously chilling and we're just gonna have a relaxing couple of hours before he goes to bed because I went to the gym yesterday, which was in the vlog yesterday. Well, some of it, the before and after um, was, anyway. So, we are going to watch some of this and I'm actually gonna try and get a little bit of computer work done, if you will let me, we will see. And I don't share these moments. And God knows if I will even share this one. I hear from my family often outside of our nuclear unit. You, know, you don't reach out. You don't talk to us. Yeah. Because nothing is good enough. We don't reach out because if it's not done their way, it's not the right way. It's funny because family wise, I was just starting to feel like I got somewhere that it was a two way street, you know? I don't talk to really anyone, my mom and dad, outside like the family, that often. I get like maybe a weekly to fortnightly email from my grandma and a monthly one off my granddad. You know, I used to think that was normal and then I got to school and I'd see the grandparents who were coming to their games or their dance recitals, performances and mine never did. But I had the best dad in the world. <laughs> and my mom. <laughs> the ones who pick me up when they see I'm struggling. Who <laughs> don't pile on the pressure after being told or witness me to having a breakdown. <laughs> I didn't plan to film today. 
and I certainly didn't plan to discuss this and as I said I don't know how much of this or if this clip will even go in. So, ending me here um, from the future. I just want to say that there was so much more in the rank clip you just saw and I was feeling very emotional during that clip so obviously while yes a lot of what I was saying is valid it also isn't fully fair either um you know obviously not everyone's grandparents come to everything and lots of families aren't close I just grew up in an area where everyone was close and I was the odd one out and that's okay. It was particularly hard growing up around that area when everyone knows who your grandparents are <laughs> and question when they're not more involved. Um, that was hard and it was just that particular day it felt like my answer wasn't good enough for her and we have spoken to each other since as I say in the next clip and um, we are all good now and I am going to make a more conscious effort to communicate not just with her but with my grandfather as well about where my head is at, what I'm dealing with mentally and anxiety wise and really there isn't much they can do to help because they're not here. Um, it sounds really awful but a lot of what they could do to help they would have to be a lot more present in mine and my dad's life and that's not really possible when they live an hour and a half, three hours away. So um, it just is what it is and it's okay. Like they don't need to live super close. We all have our own lives. But I just wanna say like everything is good family wise. I do communicate these things with them usually over email and things like that. It was just, I felt in that moment, I really needed to let it out. And I don't usually film when I'm distressed like that. And I wanted to show the reality of my life and my mental health and the ups and downs of being a carer and to not just an autistic child but someone who, um, a parent who is a parent and does everything but he also has brain damage and there are times where I do have to sort of be the adult and I do have to help him and that has kind of been on and off my whole life. There are some situations that my dad just needs help with and my grandparents haven't been there to do that and that's okay. Um, whether that be because, well, some of that will be because of their age, their generation, how they were raised and some of it I think is also because they don't fully understand my dad in a sense. Um, me and my dad are very independent people um, who do struggle with communication and showing people how we feel particularly if we feel like they're not going to get it so I do understand some of that is work that we have to put in place and I will do a whole mental health video where I do dive de deeper into all that including some of how we don't communicate as a family very well um, but I just wanted to let you know all is good here and everything is fixed and yes in that moment I was very much anti grandparents, anti support, they're, they're not good enough, that is a lot of what my anxiety does for me, it convinces me that we're never going to be enough and sometimes actions in those moments make me feel like those thought processes are right so I just want to let you know that all is good and I just wanted to share my truth I guess or a snippet of it, but do know there was a lot, lot more involved in that clip that I didn't share because with hindsight and being a lot more emotionally regulated after the fact, I felt it was unfair to share. Um, it really wouldn't have made me feel any better putting all that out onto the internet. What I shared was very vague and kind of just to the point, really. I'm still coming down from the crying and the anxiety attack. Um, to be fair, this one was more of like an anxiety frustration attack more than anything. Um, yeah. I've sent grandma an email and a text message about hanging up on her and that's all I can do. I can't call her at the moment because I don't think that will go so well. We'll see. If she calls me, I'll answer, but otherwise... I'm not gonna call her. Um, and I know in the last clip I was very oh, about my extended family, but I do love them all. I don't have a great relationship with them. Um, my uncle Greg, because he is just distant. He's 
he's never really been that close with me. Dad always says he's been a mama's boy since he can remember, so I don't know. Granddad, because he lives three odd hours away with his wife and stuff, and so it's less that we're not close, it's just we don't see each other. Whereas when we're together, he's very nosy and he's cuddly and and all those things, so I do miss him. I hate that he lives that far away sometimes, it'd be nice to drive and see him, you know? I mean, I'm wrong. It's like, it's not that we, we're not, well, we're not close. It's not that I, I don't wish to be. It's just we're very different people. Um, I don't think she always understands me and dad, I guess. And the anxiety and... So we don't talk often. Some of that is me, I know that. I know I don't reach out to the extended family. And I should be better at doing that. I'm okay though. I'm gonna go downstairs and start going through the kitchen again. As I said, I actually need to take what I put in that box and tape the bun up just so it's reinforced. Three days later. Hi guys, it's been a couple of days. I did have like a mini rant that I filmed, but honestly I don't think I'm gonna conclude it in this video at all. Um we are starting to pack the house up. We've been slowly doing sections of it, but now we're really packing the house up, putting things away. It's kind of strange. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a weird time. It's been a weird couple of days, and I hadn't realised kind of how anxious this brush move had been. Um, Dad is right, though, that not having anywhere to go in that sense has not helped. And so I think once we do have somewhere, that will be helpful. Um, I'm just actually warming some sausage rolls up, well, warming, cooking sausage rolls up for little one before I go get them from school. Um, yeah, it's been a weird few days, honestly, so, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta get that stuff up, stop getting it in the car, those sort of things, and then we will go, I guess. Eight hours later. So here, honestly, all I am actually doing is watching some TV and editing this vlog. I wanted to try and get it ready and uploaded. I realized I had a vlog ready and scheduled for Monday anyway. Um, but this one needed to be ready and I still didn't get it ready in time. So I am very sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, it's been a weird couple of days and an emotional week and I'm not entirely sure if this vlog is even entertaining but it's real and I wanted to keep showing that to you guys so hopefully someone finds it of use and if you find it entertaining that's great also. If you are enjoying my content, seeing my face or you just want to show support please do click that thumbs up button for me guys it helps me and YouTube know that you're enjoying this content also don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you get notified every time that i upload and can continue to follow me on this journey and if you want to see more of my face be included in q a's behind the scenes of these videos or anything else in my life check out the social medias that are popping up on the screen now so that you can do just that and i will see you all in the next one bye guys